Hello, students. And this is the part of our essay where we are going to do the body paragraphs. And as you can see, I'm going to speed this up. I have already given you a full sample. I'm just going to point out a few things here, and then I'm going to leave this sample of the first body paragraph in our Google Classroom. And before I go, we'll talk a little bit about transitions. So if you look uh, in our packet, this is the first body paragraph up here, like it says. This is the second paragraph of your essay. And this is one of these three body paragraphs that explain why your position is true and accurate. So um, I want to start by talking about uh, the packet. Again, these boxes um, uh, have some instructions about not only what the paragraph is about, but what the sentences that follow are or can be about. And then in the brackets, you can see um, more hints for writing your sentences. And then in our standard writing packet here, uh, in the body paragraphs, there's really very few sentence starters. I've just given one here. And um, as with any of the sentence starters, if you don't like them, just cross them out and write it the way that you would. Just make sure that your body paragraphs, they should begin uh, in the first sentence, uh, not necessarily begin the sentence, but in your first sentence, you should have some kind of a transition. And mine is very basic here. And here is the transition word one. One way the French helped the Americans during the revolution was by providing money. Now, if you look at the example here, you can see that not everything is spelled correctly. And on a rough draft, that is okay. We are going to have an opportunity to edit and to peer edit this work. So uh, you will have a chance to make those corrections. Um, what I would tell you when writing uh, your rough draft is avoid abbreviations. Uh, use uh, the full words. If they're not all spelled out on your rough draft correctly, that's okay. But I have found over the years that when students put abbreviations in a rough draft, then those abbreviations will often make it into the final draft. And uh, your final draft should be made of complete sentences and complete words. So, and then again, a reminder, my example here is the French in the revolution. And none of you have that topic. So this is simply an example. Uh, so you should not be copying these sentences. You should be looking at these sentences as a guide to how you can structure your paragraph, especially if you're struggling to see uh, how you can begin these paragraphs and maybe how you can wrap them up. Uh, some few other things I want to point out um, here, this the according to, this is where you are doing an in-text citation of your source. And when I say in-text citation, I don't mean that in a formal, correct way. We are going to do a bibliography. I mean that you are mentioning your sources in the text. This is um, not only meeting the rubric, this is also letting the reader know, I did credible research when I wrote this. And, and it's a way you express your knowledge and authority as a researcher uh, when you're producing work like this. So, uh, and so then you can see that when I said the according to right here, the Office of the Historian's website, uh, this is from the federal government and It'll also be in my bibliography, so if any reader wants to check up on my credibility, then they can do it. Uh, having mentioned the source, I then, in my next sentence, I dropped in a quote. And when you put a quote in, you can quote an entire sentence. You can quote part of a sentence. Just make sure that you're using the quotation marks and that it is accurate. And again, let the reader know, where did you get that quote? And then the last thing I will say here is that when I, the last sentence in my paragraph is giving a hint as to what's coming up next. So this paragraph, it was about the money and uh, the French provided the uh, fledgling United States with money for them to fight their war against the British. And the, the next paragraph is going to be about 
uh, military aid, like the, the French sending soldiers. And so I have given uh, a hint to that about, oh, this the France, um, it, we use this money to help pay for ammunition and military supplies used to fight the British. So I am foreshadowing the military aid paragraph that's coming up. So this is uh, what is now already over five minutes, and I am going to ask you just to read over this sample. I'm going to leave it uh, for about 30 more seconds without me talking. Look at the structure of what's written here, and this is certainly not the only way to make these sentences. This is a guide if you need one. And if you need a longer look at this, you can pause this video. And of course, you can pause it at any time. Good luck. You've got three of these body paragraphs to write. And in the next video, we'll talk about the conclusion.